you have to cancel, lose some money, and then pay more money to book a higher fare on the same flight. This is what I'm wondering now. What do I do? It is Sunday, April 14th, 2024, and on this week's edition of Sunday Sofa Time, we're talking about a naive travel mistake that I hope you can help me with. April 14th, everybody, in just two days, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm actually not excited about it. And if you would like to spruce up my day a little bit, please make sure you're subscribed and press thumbs up before you go, or you can pick up a copy of Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship, available on Amazon now, or sign up to patreon.com slash very unofficial, even just for a month, or have some surprise sent to our cabin on our upcoming cruise. We're on the brilliance of the seas, leaving Honolulu on April 28th, and we are in cabin 9644. You can send me a little tip over at PayPal and let me know what it is you want me to get with it, or you can just watch this video till the end. I'm glad you're here. Let me catch you up on the situation. We will be flying from Hamburg, Germany to Portland, Oregon to visit my parents, which is also something I'm really excited about. From there, we will be flying to Hawaii. We have three days staying in Waikiki. That's where we'll, that's where we'll, that's where we will be boarding the brilliance of the seas. From there, we're stopping in Hilo and Kauai, and then we're cruising all the way across the Pacific back to Vancouver. And when we originally booked the cruise, we booked our flights from Hamburg to Portland, and then from Vancouver back to Hamburg, but not the flight to Hawaii, and I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why. If you're up to date here on the very unofficial travel guides, you know that in the past like year, year and a half, I've really gotten into the whole miles thing, and obviously I have a still so much to learn about this. Just keep watching, you'll see exactly what I mean. So I've been trying to book as much travel as I can with KLM, Air France, and Delta, because they all belong to the mileage group where I have the most miles and status. In the USA, it is Delta's Sky Miles, and here in Europe, it's called Flying Blue. And when I was booking the flights from here to Portland, and then from Vancouver back, I also looked at what it would cost to book the whole thing as like one flight from here to Portland, from Portland to Honolulu, and from Vancouver, back and the price was considerably higher than just doing here to Portland and Vancouver back. So I thought I'll just book that part and then we'll fly to Hawaii with some other airline that's a little bit less expensive and then we can save some money. But when I really got into it, I realized there aren't really that many flights that are so much less expensive that it would make sense to not book within my miles partners and get the miles. So a couple weeks after I booked the big flights, I started looking at flights on Delta from Portland to Hawaii. Because of my status, I'm silver status, and I'm just about to roll over again into silver for another year after this trip, I get certain perks, and this is one really great thing about dedicating all your travel to one sort of conglomerate, is the more you travel, and if you know you're gonna be traveling a lot, the more goodies you get. And one of the great things about silver status is even if you book the least expensive economy fare, you still get things that other people booking economy don't get. For instance, if I just pick here any random flight to Portland, you can see if I'm not logged into my account, the least expensive economy flight does not include a free checked bag, and it also does not include a seat selection in advance. But if I log into my account, just because of my status, I still can book the cheapest fare, and I do get those things. This is something that's been a huge advantage and actually, you know, ended up saving me some money. So when I was booking the flight from Portland to Hawaii, I first went to the KLM website and tried to do it that way, but apparently it is not possible over the KLM website to book a one-way trip inside the United States that starts and ends in the USA. So I decided to go over to the Delta website and do it because like I said, Delta belongs to the same group. When I fly to 
Orlando, when I fly to Minnesota, when I fly to Portland, usually the longer flight is with Delta, even though I book it on the KLM website, and I've always gotten the miles and the perks and all that, and I was assuming <laughs> that that would be the same on a flight booked on Delta. So I have to tell you about that in a second, but I just thought of something that I want to remind you of in case you don't know it already. You know I have this upcoming trip to Hawaii, and you know I've been playing around with the whole thumbnail game and the algorithm, and I just want to remind you again, if you haven't heard this yet, that there will be a video going online with the title words in the thumbnail that say, Goodbye USA, Hello Hawaii. And I'm doing it as a joke, but I just want to prepare all you regular viewers in advance so you know that it's coming. Okay, back to the flight. So when I went to the Delta website, I did what I do on the KLM website, and that is I just booked the least expensive fare, assuming that I would be getting a free bag and being able to check my, uh, or pick my seat out in advance. Booked it, paid it, got the confirmation number, everything cool. Then I realized, huh, when I sign into my KLM Flying Blue account, this flight doesn't show up. I tried putting the Delta confirmation code into the KLM site and it's not recognized. So first I wrote to KLM customer service. They said, oh, please, it's a Delta flight. You have to talk to Delta about this. I wrote to Delta customer service and this is where the big disappointment comes. Delta customer service that I wrote to actually over Twitter and they answered really quickly so I can recommend that if you need some help. Delta customer service informed me that this tariff, which is called basic economy. Yes, I'm basic. Let me just read what it says here. Basic economy is non-refundable or changeable. You can cancel for an e-credit for future travel. A cancellation charge would be applied when rebooking and may result in additional fare collection. Upgrades and same day travel changes are not permitted. Seat assignments can be purchased in advance for a fee between seven days and up to 24 hours prior to departure if available. Basic Economy is the last boarding group. No Sky Miles or Sky Miles medallion status will be accrued for this type of ticket. Excuse me, what? Wie bitte? No comprendo? Je no compris? Some of those were right, right? So this is a difference I've learned now. When you book the least expensive Delta flight, you don't get those goodies like you do when you book the least expensive KLM flight. And even though sometimes when you book on the KLM website, what you're booking is a Delta flight, if you book it on the Delta website, the rules are different. So it appears that now I still spent a little bit of extra money to fly with KLM Delta thinking, well, at least I'm gonna be getting the miles, and we're talking about like 5,000 frequent flyer miles to get from the West Coast to Hawaii. But now it appears, not only am I not gonna get my perks, but I also don't collect the miles. I had a long conversation on the phone yesterday with KLM customer service. I actually called them, waited in the hotline to get a real person on the phone, explained to her the situation. She went through things and she said that it looks like I will be able to get the miles. She also put me on hold to ask somebody else and confirmed, yes, that because you are flying blue silver, you will be rewarded the miles for this journey. And she said, you also will be able to check your first bag for free because of your status. But when I go to the Delta website, I can't find anything that confirms that. And after talking to Delta again, Delta said that what I need to do is cancel the flight, accrue the fee for cancellation, which will then roll over into a credit for future travel, and then I can rebook the same flight after canceling it with the credit I have left and pay for main cabin, and then with main cabin, my status will be recognized and I also get the miles. And this is where I'm confused now. What do I do? Do I leave it as it is and trust what I, trust the confusing messages I got from KLM saying, yes, even though it doesn't say that, you will 
Your status will be recognized and you will gain the miles or do I trust the confused message I got from Delta saying that no, if you keep it like it is, you won't be recognized and you won't get the miles. You have to cancel, lose some money and then pay more money to book a higher fare on the same flight. This is what I'm wondering now. What do I do? Where are my miles experts out there? Who knows more about this? Who can tell me what would be the best thing to do here? I only have like a week left to figure this out. So if anybody has any advice for me, please let me know. And of course, in an upcoming video, I will be talking about what happened then and what I learned from this experience other than even though sometimes when you book a KLM flight, it's a Delta flight, that doesn't mean the same thing as if you book it on the Delta website. Really looking forward to hear what anybody has to say about this, especially some expert advice in the comments below this video. And speaking of comments, now comes the time on Sunday Sofa Time where I comment on your comments live on air. In last week's Sunday Sofa Time, I gave a little update about the upcoming cruise, which seems to be happening because the ship is sailing again and there hasn't been any further updates. We haven't been contacted by Royal Caribbean that there are any further problems with the brilliance of the seas, but I talked about the updates and I talked about a memory that popped up, some pictures that I did in a photo shoot on Fuerteventura, the island I just visited a couple weeks ago. They look like this. Yep, that's me. These comments are on that video. The first one is from Liz Kocek. Liz writes, wow, Morgan, you looked amazing in those pictures. You still look great. I know how you feel. I was the hottest chick around in the late 80s and I'm turning 58 this year. In my head, I still think that's what I look like. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like, what the hell happened? LOL, yeah, I get you. I understand. And the thing for me is, I have videos of myself dancing on stage. I, you know, still remember the choreography from so many of these shows that I did. And I remember how it feels in my body to do it. But what I'm remembering is how it felt. If I tried to do like the whole Be Our Guest number from Beauty and the Beast or Voulez-vous in Mamma Mia, I, I could do it once in the lobby of the hospital probably. So I get you Liz, formerly known as the hottest girl in the 80s. Thanks for writing. Next comment is from Happy Cruiser. She writes, Morgan, I just watched the latest cruise critic with the heading five hilarious cruise peer runners. You are actually on the last video clip they use. Yeah, so they posted one of my videos on cruise critic and you can see in my YouTube analytics that that video had a huge spike in views and you wanna see how much YouTube paid me to have this many people enjoy what I worked so hard creating? That's how much. Thanks YouTube. Happy birthday to me. Final comment is from Vicky. She writes, I can't wait for the Goodbye USA title. People are going to lose, lose their, their mind. mind. Yes. I'm assuming that that's what's gonna happen too, whether or not it's gonna gain me any new subscribers, I don't know, but I think that people are definitely gonna click on the video, like I said, just to find out who is this idiot, and it's gonna be me. Okay, people, this is my last Sunday sofa time in my 40s. Thanks for being there for me. I'm about to turn 50 and it's really weird, but I hope you're having a fantastic weekend or whatever day of the week or time of the week you watch this. And I look forward to seeing you back here next week in my 50s on the red sofa. Bye-bye.